Now, next year, people from Romania and Bulgaria will be given the right to live and work in the UK without restriction, sparking fears in some quarters of a huge impact on jobs, communities, schools and the NHS. It's estimated that there are already more than 100,000 Bulgarians and Romanians in the UK. In fact, people from that part of the world have been able to come here without a visa for the last six years. But the government is now looking at bringing in extra rules to limit access to benefits, health care and housing for new migrants. Well, Kent MP Mark Reckless travelled to Romania to see for himself what people there think about coming to the UK and what they understand about how they're perceived over here. Our political reporter Ellie Price has more. I went to Romania and met both Kate and her sister and got this T-shirt. That is fantastic. A laugh at our own expense. The suggestion all women here in Romania look like the Middletons. It's part of a wider campaign encouraging Britons to come to the country. Absolutely. Yours was much funnier, I think. A tongue-in-cheek reaction to the perceived continuing negativity in some of the British press. There were a lot of uh, bad, false, uh, exaggerated reports in the British tabloids about this matter. On Romanian TV, the chair of the select committee, Keith Baz, accepted there wasn't a huge appetite to come to the UK among the Romanians he'd spoken to. But to us, he wouldn't commit to any findings. It certainly opened my eyes to deal with a number of the myths that uh, have uh, been published all over the world about this. Um, but I think at the end of the day, we will assess our evidence. Are you willing to have your minds changed that it's not going to be as bad as it all that? Well, I've been open-minded. I mean, I've, I've come, come here to look and, and try and find the, find the evidence. What I, what I do know is we've perhaps had around a, a million people from Poland and other Central and Eastern European countries. And there's certainly a lot of worry from my constituents that we may see the same from Romania and Bulgaria. What I would say is that it, we should probably look at the, the issue in, in, in the round. And I think what's important is we as a country should control our own borders. And that's why I would prefer us to be an independent country, uh, trading with Europe, but uh, governing ourselves. Despite the coverage in both countries, Liliana, a nurse, had no idea the immigration rules were changing. She's found work through an agency and isn't waiting until January to move. It's not, a, it's not about money only. Um, the people, the people are very interesting for me and uh, I want to go. We just uh, know the, the employer's opinion and they're very happy with the Romanians. Uh, we have a huge demand, we have, don't have enough people to send there uh, for this demand, so I think that this is the most important thing. Of course the main concern isn't that there'll be educated, skilled workers coming to the UK, it's that there'll be a deluge of unskilled, poor workers who could end up being a drain on the system. But the Romanians we've spoken to say even that perception is to be questioned. So do you think it's possible to go in UK without a job with your family and have money from the government? It's what everyone is worried about, yes. I don't think. I don't think so. The MPs will now consider their findings, but accept the full extent of migration can't be known until after January. But they're conscious the immigration debate in the UK is about more than just numbers. Ellie Price, BBC Southeast Today, Bucharest.